Hello, my crafty friends. I'm so glad you could stop by Cards TV today. This is Mary, and I have just been loving these two paper pads that I got from the Royal Castle Shop on Facebook, and I wanted to keep using them. And they do have a Western theme. There's a girl set and a boy set. They're both called Giddy Up. And you can see from the uh, paper samples on the front how very cute they are. Now, I've used these for some cards other than Western theme, but I really wanted to use that cute little bear. Here he is right here on the front in Teddy Bear Parade. So we're going to use him today. We'll be using George and Basic Shapes. We'll be using some of this braiding cord. I got this in the kids craft section at Walmart. We'll be using some of these silver dots. These came from Color Book. We're going to use the paper crimper. I love it. And for my sentiment, I'm going to be using this little wavy banner. This came from Stampin' Up! This one's from the, um, I think it's called Itty Bitty Banners. Yeah. Set. And that's from Stampin' Up! We'll be using some Memento Rich Cocoa Ink and two of my stamp sets from Farmyard Funnies. We'll be using Yeehaw! <laughs> And I can't decide for the inside if this is going to be a birthday card or what kind of card it's going to be. But I'll be using Berry Sweet because there's so many on here that would work. You make me very happy. I love you very much. Berry Best Friends. Sending you big bear hugs. Teddy Bears Rule. Friends Make Life Bearable. You're very sweet. I could use it for a birthday card because I have a grandson who's got a birthday coming up. So I may use Have a Very Happy Birthday. But I'll be using one of those. So I'm going to get all this moved out of the way and we'll get started on our little card. We've got a craft card base and this is four and a quarter by five and a half. And from that Giddy Up Girls paper pad, I'm using this little brown and white gingham check and I've inked around this with some Tim Holtz tea dye distress ink and this is cut at four and an eighth by five and three eighths. I'll take my ATG gun and get this added to the front and my next two layers will be another piece of craft and this is three and five eighths by four and seven eighths and then this cute little paper I don't know if you can make this out or not but it's got like a, a horse inside of a rope border and this is like uh, a longhorn uh, cow inside of a rope. There's a horseshoe, a star, a boot, the profile of a horse. It's just really cute and I love this blue background. I've also inked around this one and this blue piece is three and a half by four and three quarters. I'm going to adhere these two together but I won't add them to the front of the card just yet because we're going to add a little border and also we'll be adding some of that braiding cord down here to look like rope. Now this little blue paper came from the Giddy Up Boys stack. Next we have this cute little bandana border. This also came from that Boys Giddy Up paper pack and I'm going to add this right about here. And I cut this at a half an inch by three and a half inches. I'll go ahead and add this to the front with my ATG gun. And then we'll wrap that braiding cord around there. And look, the back of this is so cute. It looks like a cow. <laughs> I've gone ahead and cut off some of that braiding cord. And I want to wrap it around the bottom down here. And I've got a little star that's also going to go on top of it, so I want to make sure I'm getting it lined up right. It's going to go right about there. That's about right. Now this star came from the George and Basic Shapes cartridge, and you'll find that star on page 115, and I cut the star at an inch and a quarter, and then I ran it through the paper crimper just to give it some texture, and then I've inked all around it with 
some Tim Holtz tea dye distress ink and I've got it on one thickness of foam tape so I'm gonna take just some scotch tape to hold the back of this braiding cord on the back and I'm gonna wrap this around about three times just so it looks like rope or a lariat just to give it some dimension and it'll just add a lot more fun to our little card won't it now we're ready to add this to the front just like that and then I'll put the little star right down here I've spaced the foam tape out on the star so that it can go across this braiding cord and kind of hold it in place just like that like the way this looks now we only have a few more things to do here is that adorable little bear oh he's so cute I love him now I cut my bear out at three and a half and his little Western outfit is also cut at three and a half and let me show you where he is in the little brochure or manual now you'll cut your bear out first there's only three layers as I said I cut him at three and a half inches and put him all together and then in the second column the twelfth cut down next to the bottom one is the cute little cowboy and he's got four layers the brown layer is his hat and his uh, little chaps I guess you'd call them now it also cuts out a stick horse but I didn't want to use that so that's your brown layer then this is the blue layer which is his shirt the red layer is the bottom part of his chaps his belt buckle which is underneath this silver uh, metal dot and the red uh, band on his hat and his little red bandana and the yellow layer is his vest and I think he turned out so cute now I've got him on one thickness of foam tape and I wanted this to look more like a belt buckle and that's why I put that little silver dot and I've got a couple more I think I'm gonna put some up here but he's gonna go right about there let's see yeah right about there and I took that little wavy banner die and cut this out of white cardstock I've inked it with Tim Holtz tea dye distress ink and then I used that uh, memento rich cocoa and stamped yeehaw <laughs> using my cards TV stamp set this is on one thickness of foam tape and this is gonna go right up here Let's move him down just a little bit and where are my dots I think I'm gonna put maybe one or two more dots up here I gotta get him placed just right I think that turned out so cute and I love the dimension you get by running this star through that paper crimper so I'll finish getting all this adhered down I'll find my silver dots and get them on here and we'll come back and take a last look at this little card here's my finished card and I think it turned out so stinking cute I love that little bear and I couldn't help it y'all I just had to take some more of that braiding cord and I wrapped it around like a rope or a lariat and tied knots in the ends and then I attached it to his little hand with a couple of glue dots so it looks like he's gonna go out and rope some cows <laughs> and I didn't do the inside because I still don't know who I'm gonna give this to or you know what sentiment I want to put inside but it'll be really easy just to take some more of these papers and uh, do the inside and add my sentiment thank you so much for coming by today I had a good time, and I hope you did too, and I'll see you again soon. Bye now.